Stormwater is any precipitation that falls on the ground. This includes snow, fog, rain, and hail. In natural areas such as this forest, stormwater infiltrates the soil and is absorbed by plant roots or becomes groundwater which aggregates in small creeks which combine to form large rivers that lead to the ocean. But in urban areas, water can't be absorbed by hard impermeable surfaces and this can become a problem. Throughout the Elk Valley, stormwater rolls off of our roofs, driveways, our lawns and our roads and along the way it picks up contaminants like fertilizers, heavy metals, oils and other hydrocarbons. And this water flows directly from roads into storm drains like the ones here and then straight into the Elk River. And this means that there's no chance for this to become remediated by being filtered through plants or soil or settling out in still water for a period of time. And this means that anything we put on the roads can potentially end up straight in the river without any sort of mitigation. The number one way to prevent pollutants from entering the river via stormwater is to simply not discard pollutants on the ground. Things that we see as disposable can remain in the environment for years to come. Not littering includes picking up after your dog, since bacteria from fecal matter can affect wild animals and pollute the drinking water for communities further downstream. So make sure you dispose of your pet waste in appropriate containers. Make sure your gutters are not connected to the sewage system because that puts an unnecessary strain on the wastewater treatment plant. Instead, let the water flow into your yard, or better yet, collect it in a rain barrel. Not only does this prevent stormwater pollution, but it saves you money, and you can use that water for your plants in times of drought, which reduces stress on the water supply facilities. From coolant, oil, gasoline, and antifreeze, Cars have plenty of fluids that we don't want getting into our waterways. Frequently check your car for any leaks and get it serviced when necessary to prevent chemicals from getting washed away with stormwater. A beautiful and eco-friendly alternative to a grass lawn is a rain garden, which accumulates excess stormwater. While grass uses some water, lawn grasses have a shallow root system which lets most of the water through. The first step to building a rain garden is digging a hole that is about 9 inches to a foot deep. Then, fill the hole with soil and mulch. Line the perimeter of the garden with rocks to prevent overflow. Plant plants that will do well in wet conditions such as sedges and rushes. Additionally, you can plant native flowering plants that provide a habitat and sustenance to insects like butterflies and bees. Plant plants with deep root systems which will secure the soil and mulch and use up a lot of the water. The result is stunning and you can be proud of reducing your stormwater impact. Finally, you can support your local watershed organization. Not-for-profits like the Elk River Alliance often do wetland restoration, garbage cleanup events, water quality monitoring, and more. Most major water bodies have organizations devoted to their protection. Just search online. We hope you learned a bit about stormwater pollution, how it affects your waterways, and how you can mitigate your impact. Make sure to share this video with your friends to spread awareness.